What's up guys, it's Dwayne back again for another video, back again for another reaction and today's a great, wonderful, beautiful, delicious day because it's a Sweden day. Swedish person shocked by the pronunciation of Swedish brand names. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction, let's go. In Sweden, we say Arke. In America, we would say Arke. Arke. In Denmark, Arke. we would say Agel. <laughs> what? Come on, guys. <laughs> Hello. I know IKEA. Does yeah. that count? It counts, right? And yeah. H&M. They have candy as well. Oh, oh and Swedish um, tobacco as well. Swedish oh. what? Snus. Ah, yeah. Snus. <gasps> Most countries pronounce it wrong. But it's snus. It's like, especially when you speak snus, English, isn't it? you kind of adapt to it, so it becomes English-ish. Mm. <laughs> so we say IKEA for when we speak English, but oh. that's not how you pronounce it. Yeah, that's mm. true. I know that. Yeah. That's not right. I was right. Ikea. Is it Ikea? In Ikea. Sweden, we say Arket. In America, we would say Arket. In Denmark, okay. we would say Agel. <laughs> what? Come on, guys. <laughs> you heard me right? <laughs> Agel. In Finland, we would say Arket. In Norwegian, we would say Arket. The most. In English, we'd say Arket. Surprising one, I guess, would be the Danish one because it's very different from how we mm. say it. I'm not surprised over the English pronunciation since we're so used to Englifying, Englifying. Like, all the Swedish words, but mm -hmm. brand names and stuff. When you learn Danish, you get to learn that if it ends like with an E or T, it's not like it or like, it's like more like a soft way of ending the word. That's just how we say a lot of words. Mm. In Norwegian, I think it depends a little bit on your dialect. So some place in Norway, you would pronounce the T, so you would say Arket. And mm. another place in Norway, you would just drop the T, like my accent, and then it would just be Arke. Mm. Yeah. Maybe it's kind of similar. I feel like mm. for Sweden, the K sound is pretty strong. I think Finnish might be the most similar to how mm. the Swedish pronunciation is, yeah. but they just have their own, like, the Finnish accent on it. <laughs> That's true. Uh, because it's a brand name. Uh, oh, but true. if we would be speaking about the brand, and for example, like we want to buy something from them, then we would probably call it Arketti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I meant that's different. <laughs> but as a brand, the pronunciation would be Arketti. We try to keep the names to be how they were meant to be. We don't try to like make our Norwegian version yeah. of the Swedish brand. We just try to like keep it. Like, yeah. Accept it as Accept it, it as it is, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. In Volvo. Sweden, we say Volvo. In America, we would say Volvo. In Danish, we say Volvo. In Finland, we say Volvo. In Norwegian, we say Volvo. I feel like Norwegian was... Oh, and English normally we would say Vol Volvo. It's the one who pronounced it the most similar. Like, all of them are pretty mm. similar. Like, you're obviously a little <laughs> different than you Volvo. pronounce. For Americans, they like pronounce the O differently. Because we say Volvo, and you say Volvo. Volvo. You say like Oh. So you have like an A sound mm. in your mm. O's. Yeah. And ours is just very clean O. I also heard that pronounced in America as Volvo. I think it also depends wow. on your accent mm. in America because there's also so many accents. I guess we would pronounce it Acne Studio. In America Acne. we say Acne Studio. Acne. In Denmark we would say, like if you would We'd say, say Acne in, country, in England as well. Acne Studio, but I have never heard anyone say it like that. People would just say Acne Studio, like as it sounds in English. In Finland, we would say Acne Studio. In Norwegian, we would say Acne Studio. Mm. I also noticed that the A sound is different. We say it like Acne, mm. but you guys kind of say like Acne. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Acne Studio. Acne Studio. Acne Studio. Akne Studio. Akne Studio. I feel like our vowels are the most different. Like A and E, mm. the way we say it. But also the... But that's just Americans though. Americans just sound a bit weird. Because <laughs> we'd say acne. It's, mm, I guess it's similar. So I think in Norwegian it's A-K. If it's in between Americans and... But in Sweden we say Ikea. In America we Ikea. say Ikea. In Denmark we say Ikea. In Finland Ikea. we say Ikea. 
In Norwegian, okay. we say IKEA. They all Ikea. pronounce different parts of the mm. word mm. differently. So I think Denmark still has the E, but they changed the end. It's like an A sound. IKEA. While, can you read you say it again? IKEA. So we pronounce the I very strongly. IKEA. Sometimes, Ikea. like in our, in Swedish, the E sound can sound also a little I, like E. <laughs> It depends on like the vowels and consonants and what follows. So that's like grammatical rules and stuff. English, should we say IKEA? Yeah. IKEA. Yeah, America says the E A yeah. part more yeah. similar so to like the Swedish. As well. yeah. But you pronounce the I. Yeah. I. Yeah. <laughs> IKEA. Yeah. H&M. In Sweden, we say HOM. In America, H-O-M. we say H&M. In Denmark, we say HOM. In England, we say Hoamma. Hoamma. <laughs> Norwegian, we would either say Hoam or Hennes or Moritz. Because the H and M stands for Hennes or Moritz. Yeah. Uh, so that's why. But we don't really say Hennes or Moritz. <laughs> I'm the older generation. <laughs> <laughs> we have these other signs. Yeah. yeah, we are just, we just say the letters in Finnish. So yeah. H is like Ho. And M is Emma, <laughs> so that's why it's whole Emma. Yeah, mm. but oh, wait a minute, isn't that kind of the same though? We just say the letter in our own language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we do so that it's too. all just the letter. Yeah, yeah. Ho O M. It's just. But you have the O, o though. You have like o, and O means yeah. like yeah and. We drop off. I think this is between us and the Americans. They say H with an A, H and M, and we say H and M. H with a H. I don't know. Maybe I'm saying it incorrectly, but I think that's how we say it. The and all together. Some mm. people they do say hoem, like oh, just hoem yeah. instead of like hoem. Ho I yeah. think in <laughs> Swedish when we say the word H with ho, it ends with an o, which ho. can be used for an end uh -huh. sound. Mm. So we don't have to oh. put in an end between. Ah. So we say hoem. I think that would also mm. be easier though because. Your letters have so many vowel sounds yeah. that, like, like she said, if you have to say it like O M, mm -hmm. it can be kind of a little bit annoying. Yeah. In Sweden, we say Spotify. No, Spotify. We're, we're in shock right now. <laughs> yeah, we're I didn't know. Really? Spotify. Me too. That's a lot of good things say. coming from the north. Because yeah. it's just a country. It's a theory. I'm like, wow. Okay. <laughs> in America, we say Spotify. In Danish, we say Spotify. In Finland, we say Spotify. In Norwegian, wow. we say Spotify. Finland and Norway sound like in, how we say in England. We'd say Spotify. So we sound a, very alike Finland and Norway. That's strange. America, obviously, Spotify. It sounds a bit different. I'm kind of sad Finland wasn't like Spotify. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what, what it would be actually pronounced in Finnish? If we pronounce it in a Finnish way, it would be Spotify. But <laughs> no one says that. We all say Spotify. Spotify. Spotify is very... A lot of people think that it is American or like some sort of English I thought that until brand. recently. Uh, so a lot of people are surprised when it's Swedish, but it's a very English speaking. I feel like me and Denmark sound the most similar this time. Yeah. Like our accent of the word Spotify. Probably because she also thought it was from America. Yeah. <laughs> I think all people like from Denmark, they just think it's American maybe. I don't what know. What if you said it, the brand, as if you thought it was from Sweden? Like a Swedish brand. You said something about the why, you would say mm. Spotty food. Like yeah. <laughs> if it's real Danish, you would say that. But yeah. I think all people know how to pronounce it right, the right mm. way. So you say Spotify. Yeah. I have never heard anyone say it in another way, actually. Yeah. Mm. I think that Norwegian and, and Swedish pronounce the consonant a little bit differently. So you'd mm -hmm. have Danish and American being more Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> Swedish and Norwegian being more Spotify. Spotify. Like English. Spotify. You can pronounce the I very strongly. Spotify. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spotify. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I learned I didn't know Spotify was Swedish. I didn't even know H&M was Swedish. Not did I until have recently. A lot of, uh, Swedish speakers, so kind of knew how the Swedish ones are pronounced and also the English. But it was really interesting to <laughs> hear about Denmark and Norway. Mm. And especially, I'm always surprised that Denmark is so Englishy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah we're really affected by the mm. language. Like I really mm. feel that. Yeah. 
But I think that's a lot of these like big companies like Spotify, Ikea, that is from Sweden. Is the name kind yeah. of becomes international, and then yeah, the people in Sweden sense. and Norway start pronouncing it in the international, the international way, way as well. Because yeah. yeah. that's how everybody pronounces it, like H&M. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was like interesting to see, like or hear, mm. like how differently people pronounce it, even if it's so close to how we pronounce it. I wasn't overly surprised by the American <laughs> because I've heard <laughs> the names already in American, <laughs> but. It was interesting. So today we tried to pronounce Swedish brand names. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Also subscribe. Oh. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> no, that was really, 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 as I always say, interesting. Um, yeah, the way that people pronounce things is it's subtly different. It's not hugely differently. Like Spotify, the last one. Spotify, Spotify, like Spotify. Like it's just. It's the same, it's mutually intelligible, everyone understands how to say it or how it sounds, however, it still has its subtle differences. Um, and yeah, and I Ikea, 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 yeah, <laughs> it's, just, oh, it's all the same but sounds subtly different. But the, the Spotify would definitely sound exactly the same as Finland and Norway, which is very, very interesting. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you guys very soon.